is up guys, Eric Janicki back here with another workout and I'm pumped about this one because we are giving you the top five boulder shoulder exercises to grow your shoulders today. So do not click away from this video if you want an insane amount of information about not only the exercises that I'm choosing, but also the thought process behind it, how to hit front, medial, and rear delt, all with these five exercises and the modality in which I do it, meaning time under tension, what kind of range of emotion am I using, what am I focusing on rep ranges. I'm gonna go over all of that in this video, so do not click away. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel yet, please guys, go ahead. I'm gonna keep putting out so much amazing content for you guys. So without further ado, let's get these exercises. All right, first exercise, what we're gonna hit is a dumbbell movement. And we're gonna start with a raising movement. I know most people wanna start their workouts with presses, I'm not the biggest proponent of this because I think you should really get some good blood flow in the tissue, especially the medial delt. Plus, most people actually aren't lacking in their front delt, which is where you're gonna get most of the engagement for pressing. Whereas with medial delt, you're gonna to have to hit more raising movements. That's why I'm gonna hit this around the world raise as my first favorite shoulder building exercise because you're gonna get so much full engagement, crazy range of motion. I'm gonna show you guys how to hit this exercise right now. All right, so we're gonna set the incline bench up at about 75 degrees. So 90 would be completely vertical, so just off of that. We're gonna sit back. I have 25s here. Guys, I would start this maybe at 15, 10 pounds until you get the form down. So what I would do is I'm gonna lie back. I'm gonna start with my hands neutral, okay? So I'm gonna start neutral hands on the side. I'm going to raise up over the top. I'm gonna to have my palms facing the mirror at the end of my set. And I'm gonna come down slow on that eccentric. I'm gonna to start to rotate my hands to the side towards my sides about that portion of the rep. That's gonna get a ton of medial delt back up. Uh, it's gonna rotate up into the front, slow on that eccentric. So the eccentric is net, is basically what a lot of people call the negative portion of a movement. And for shoulders, it is absolutely imperative that you utilize the negative portion of a rep. So the other great part of this exercise, you're getting so much range of motion. I'm not stopping here, I'm going all the way over the tops so then I can get a little bit into that, that front delt and not just hit medial on this. That's why you're gonna get a huge shoulder pump from this. So what I'm gonna do is hit 10 to 12 of this, I'm not gonna do every single rep, I'm just gonna show you guys this. And then what I'm gonna do to burn out, I'm gonna stay back on this, and then I'm gonna hit 10 to 12 regular lateral raises. And that's just gonna be what's called pre-exhaust exhaust. So I'm pre-exhausting with those, those around the world raises, and then I'm exhausting with those lateral raises. So now I'm here, I've hit 10 to 12 there, I'm here. Mm, still controlled, see how I'm kinda pulling that pinky up? Uh, slight elbow bend, that's gonna hit target all medial delt. Squeeze, slow on the down. Uh, hmm. Slow negative, drive. Uh, all control, it's gonna burn. Hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna hit that for 10 to 12. You should get a humongous shoulder pump and burn from that. So 10 to 12 of those around the world burn out with those laterals. Guarantee you, you're gonna get one of the craziest shoulder pumps of your life if you do these correctly. And then we can work later into some of our pressing movements. Exercise number two, guys. We have a incline bench front raise. I love this movement pattern because it completely isolates that front delt. It disables you from using momentum. A lot of people, when they do barbell raise here, it also allows you to Take the impetus off your lower back too when you're doing a raise. That, while holding, it's gonna to put a lot of pressure, hip hinging on the lower back. So this basically allows you to control what's called the vector of force. So with a dumbbell or a barbell, that vector of force is always going straight down through the floor. With a cable, you can control the directionality of where that force comes from. So I have the cable on the bottom position, but as I lie back, and I raise to the top, you'll see that angle is still gonna get a ton of pressure on my rear delt or my mid, uh, front delt because of the fact that that cable is at an angle. I'll show you right now. So basically, we're gonna set this up on just about a 
45 degrees, so right between, obviously, 90s here, zero here, 45 degrees, right in the middle. You can use kind of a curl bar or you can use a straight bar, whatever you have available. I'm just gonna use this one. So what we're gonna do is lie back here. We're gonna raise to about, when if you were looking up, straight above eye level. Right about there, we're gonna hold at the top for a rep. Three to four count hold. Slow on that eccentric. So what I was explaining earlier is, because I'm on the cable instead of a, a barbell, if I get to the top of my rep, if this were a barbell, that, that force would be going straight through the floor and I have no tension on my front delt. Whereas here, that vector of force is coming from at an angle. So I still have a ton of impetus on that front delt. So up and squeeze, hold, slow on that eccentric. At the end of these, what you can do for an extra burn is some partial rep burnouts. So let's say you get the failure with those holds and negatives, you get here, partial rep burnouts. <sighs> still focusing on that front delt. This is an incredible exercise to have a ton of control and burn in that front delt. You're gonna get a little, if you, can, if you turn the hands out a little bit, you'll get a little bit of medial delt as well, but this tremendous, tremendous front delt building exercise, very high reward to risk profile. As opposed to heavy pressing, you're gonna get a ton of burn from this, ton of contraction without nearly as much risk. Very low pressure on the joints on the lower back. Just honestly, one of the best shoulder exercises I do. Next exercise, we're gonna do what I call a Y raise on the incline bench with dumbbells. Very light on this one. So it's all about control. So we're gonna do, put the bench on about a 45 degree. We're gonna let ourselves down with our dumbbells. We're gonna be on the edge of the bench here. We're gonna come underneath to get that full stretch. Raise up. Hold at the top of the rep. This is gonna get both front and medial delt. Good stretch at the bottom. Up. Hold at the top. Slowing that down. And by sliding on this incline bench, disable it for me from using momentum. So here. Good contraction at the top of the rep. Again, let's get, get both front and medial delt. Great control. I'm gonna get eight to 10 with a hold. And I wanna, same thing, fire through some failure reps. And pump on those guys, it's insane. You'll actually even get a little bit of trap engagement as well. So just a really complete shoulder movement pattern. Again, very high reward, low risk profile. If we're talking about hypertrophy, if you wanna talk about strength and pressing strength, these are all help you. But if you're worried about hypertrophy, volume, the look of that shoulder cap, you wanna focus more on things like this, raising movements, slow eccentrics. So the reason I entitle this the five best strength building shoulder exercise for a bigger overhead press. Cause that's not what we're focusing on today guys. We're focusing on hypertrophy, control, and having specificity within our movement patterns. So squeezing, slow eccentrics, not worrying about going for five to six heavy fucking reps. Sure, it's fun from time to time, but if your goals are hypertrophy, you need to train more like this, focus less on the ego lifting super heavy weights. Exercise number four, the moment you've been waiting for, a pressing movement, you're like, thank you. No more raises, Eric, please give me a fucking press. I will give you a press. What we're gonna do is a modified Arnold press, one of my favorite movements. So instead of traditional Arnold, we're gonna rotate from the top. What I'm gonna do is come down, rotate in the front, back around, retract that scap, and then dig through that shoulder cap at the bottom of the So I'm gonna show you this. A lot easier to show you with the dumbbells. This one, we're gonna be bench, not quite at 90 degrees, at about 85. So not quite fully upright, just very slightly off. I'm gonna go grab dumbbells. So not tremendously heavy on these guys. Let's say you do a shoulder press with, 
for 10 to 12, 15 reps with 80. You should be at about 30, 35 on these, maybe 40 max. So don't think that because you can press 80s, you can do these with 80s, you can't. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press out of the bottom, squeeze, slow on that eccentric, rotate around to the front, touch, slow on that rotate, and then dig out. Really focusing on pushing through the delt, rotating forward, that rotation is gonna really tax the delts over the course of this set. And it's just providing more time under tension, guys. Cause yeah, sure, I could be here. I could throw, I could throw 37s around for like 100 reps, but that's not what I'm doing here. I'm slowing down the reps. I'm focusing on control, utilizing as much tissue as possible. So when you're doing any type of hypertrophy training, the goal is maximal hypertrophy, right? Which is breaking down the tissue and bringing it back bigger, more volumized. So to do so, you wanna have as much motor recruitment as possible, meaning your, your, your muscles have small fibers, large fibers, slow twitch, fast twitch. So as you continue to utilize more time under tension, increase the duration of your sets, you're going to transfer from slow twitch to fast twitch, small to large. The larger muscle groups are gonna be the biggest bang for your buck for hypertrophy. But in terms of recruitment, you're gonna use smaller muscle groups first until you start to build up that basically what's called hypoxic environment. I don't wanna to get too much into the science of it, but you're going to reduce the amount of oxygen present. It's going to basically push, force the larger muscle groups to perform. So that's why this stuff is effective, guys. There's science behind it. It's not just bro science. I don't want you to just slow down your reps because it burns and it sucks. It's not gonna give you results. I'm doing this because I really want to see you guys grow. I wanna see you guys have that capped shoulder look you're looking for. And I don't do, personally, I don't do 110s, 120s, 150s on presses. Max, I'll go 80s with really good form, super slow negatives. And that's gonna give me so much more, obviously longevity, but also hypertrophy in the short term. Last but not least, guys, we have my fifth favorite exercise to build boulder shoulders. And so this movement pattern is going to be literally a almost modified upright row. So when you're doing, when you're thinking upright row, you're thinking barbell, right? What I wanna do is actually turn the hands over on this V grip. We're gonna lie back and we're gonna pull those elbows as high as possible. That's gonna get a tremendous amount of pump in the delts, rear delts, medial, even a little bit of front. I'll show you how this one works. Really good range of motion. So what we're gonna do, sorry about that. We're gonna go thumbs down. We're actually gonna grab the V-grip the opposite way you normally would for another movement pattern. We're gonna come off here. We're going to stretch the delt. So you're gonna almost roll the shoulders forward. As I pull, I'm gonna lie back and I'm gonna pull those elbows as high as possible. And then I'm gonna squeeze the top and then slow on that eccentric. You see how I never drop my elbows? So I'm not here. And then I, on the negative, I drop my elbows. I keep the elbows pinned up. And the really good thing about using a grip like this is it forces that elbow position. So if you were to use a rope or handles, you can easily turn that down. But since my hands are stuck here, overhand grip, I literally can't drop the elbows, which is gonna drop the impetus out of my shoulder. So I wanna stretch, squeeze, slow on that eccentric. Big open, stretching those fibers out, and then digging up and contracting. Slow on that eccentric. So this is a great movement to finish off front, medial and rear delt. I know I didn't include a rear delt fly. That's something you guys should incorporate as well. I like this more than a rear delt fly just because I feel like I get more recruitment, but, and obviously more engagement of different heads. Reverse fly is gonna be almost all rear delt. So that's why I like this movement because it's gonna get also some medial in front as well. So that is it guys. As you guys, I will always tell you guys this. What's gonna trump exercise selection is how much intentionality, how much impetus, how much time under tension, how much range of motion you're utilizing 
in your exercises as opposed to the, what the exercise is itself. So I want you guys to take everything I'm telling you in the shoulder workout, top five exercises, and think not only about the exercises, but how I perform them. What's my thought process? How am I maximizing hypertrophy? What is bang for buck? Sure, I can go do heavy barbell presses. And if that's what you guys like to do, by all means. But I am here to educate you guys on how to get maximal hypertrophy. And this is what I'm here to do. So I know I'm gonna get some hate for this about how my top five movements didn't involve some sort of heavy pressing movement, but at the end of the day, guys, that's not gonna be what gets you bolder shoulders. It's gonna be slow raises, the ones that you literally can't even like lift your arms afterwards. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've got so much more coming, so please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on the next video.